Well, hello again. Nice to see you. Nice to be seen. I uh, recently motored around uh, the uh, east coast of the country uh, several hundred miles and I found two places that I'd like to tell you about. One is uh, Top of the Monk, which is the second floor of a tavern, well, sports bar called uh, The Thirsty Monk. It's in Asheville, North Carolina. Now, the Top of the Monk, the second floor, you go up side steps. It's a private club. Then we walked in, they said, are you a member? We said, no. And then the manager was standing, he said, no, I'll pay for it. It was a buck to join. So the manager paid for us, four of us to sit down. Now, top of the month, first thing I noticed was they had old Tom Gin on their shelves, and uh, that took me back, but we'll do that on a, on a later episode. We'll talk about old Tom. Uh, now, the top of the monk is a cocktail laboratory. They make all kinds of exotic drinks with all kinds of exotic ingredients. Some of the names were they make a black walnut daiquiri. They make uh, the lion's tail, the income tax cocktail. Uh, as I said, all with exotic ingredients. Uh, nothing that I think you can duplicate at home, or at least I'm not prepared to do, you know, egg whites. Second place was uh, Shadwell's in Charlottesville, Virginia. Uh, there I had a drink called the uh, Jefferson's Iraq Rum Punch. And it's made, they tell me, from an original Jefferson recipe from uh, his home, Monticello, which is just down the road from Shadwell's. Uh, Iraq, which you're not, maybe you're not familiar with, A-R-R-A-C-K, is, uh, was first mentioned in the 1500s, and it's a, it's, it comes from Southeast Asia, and it's made from a variety of things, uh, like sugarcane, and even from, let me see this, the fermented sap of coconut flowers. Now, its Arabic version is Arak, A-R-A-K, which you may have heard of. Uh, at Shadwell's, you know, Arak being not that easy to come by, they made it with cognac, and that's the way I'm going to make it. Uh, first of all, take this. Take some even amounts. Cognac, of course, is made from, is distilled from uh, white grapes. And it's a very hearty liquor. Equal amounts of spiced rum. And cognac. Any good cognac will do. Now, a little simple syrup. Take a little edge off. Not much. And some lime juice. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, you just want to stir that up a little. Then we'll get a nice rum punch glass. Put some ice in it. I think that'll do it. And in it goes. Now, you may want to add a splash of lemonade, which I think works very well. Just a splash. And then the final touch is you top it off with ground nutmeg. Just a little bit of the flavor. And there you have it. Jefferson's Iraq Rum Punch. Jefferson, as you know, was quite the world traveler. And uh, 
he was everywhere uh, in Europe and other places. So he was very familiar, and some of his Monticello recipes are really quite, quite exotic too. So, rum punch. Tell you, I don't know the spiced rum and the cognac just go together great. You know, the first time I uh, uh, when I ordered one, uh, she, the waitress bartender said, uh, "I have to uh, warn you that this is a very strong drink," and I said, "Make mine a double."